गुड इवनिंग लिंदा हाय टीचर गुड इवनिंग हेलो हाउ आर यू टुडे हाउस एवरीथिंग वेरी वेल ओके गुड आई गुड टू हियर दैट हाउ वाज योर डे वेरी वेल ओके इट वाज फाइन ऑल राइट व्हाट डिड यू डू Sorry, I can I cannot hear you because. What did you do? What did you do today? Uh, I learning English. I was learning English. You practiced. Okay. I do. I do the shorts. 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 Oh, you did the shorts. Uh, yes, that. Um, I make a the lunch. And I make a dinner. Okay. And you stayed home today. Yes. Uh, All right. Are I you a housewife home. or do you work on another thing? I housewife. I am a house oh. housewife. Oh, All right. Good. And do you have kids, Linda? Thank you. No. Okay. I, I don't have. All right. All right, that's fine. Very well. And Jonathan David, good evening. Good evening, Lily. How are you, Mister? Very good, thanks. Okay, great. How was your day? It's fine. I was in the office okay. after almost two months out. Oh, really? Well, you've been moving a lot. Yes. Well, that must be tiring. Yes. Okay. But do you like it? Do you like moving around the, the country? Than... Yes. You do? Okay. Different. All right. That's the important thing. Very well. Yes. <laughs> Norman, good evening. Hey, good evening. Hi. How's everything? Well, yeah. Robert. How's everything? How are you? Um, good, good, okay. yeah, very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Working. All right. Working. Very well. Yes. Thank you very much. Walter Vene, good evening. Walter Hame, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, very well, thank you. Okay, excellent. How was your day, mister? It's, it's raining right now. Mm, yeah. Very strong. Yeah. La señal falla un poco, but very well tonight. All right. Okay. I'm glad to hear that you're good. Sí, Karen is dead. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Karen? I'm fine. Okay, good. How was your day? Um, my day is my day is chunky. <laughs> was uh, quiet. Okay. All right. Nice. Hi. What did you do today? 
Trabajar en casa, no sé. Um, you work at home? Yes. You did home office. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yes, yes. All right, that's nice. So it's raining where you are. Is it raining where you are? Yes. 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 Yeah, it seems it's yes. raining very yes. hard raining. everywhere. Yep. I see. Glenda, is that lightning behind you? Son a rayos los que se ven en su ventana your window yes, it's oh, wow. right. yeah that's pretty bad i would be scared of, of that a, <laughs> a star a star rain whoa a star rain. yeah yeah it was raining electric, electric here star. Uh, yep that's pretty bad okay it yeah. was raining here a moment ago but now it's not raining anymore so yeah. Jose Jovito, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? This morning is Saturday. It's very hard in my city. Oh, okay. All right. And how was your day, Jose? What? How was your day? I don't understand. Oh, how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Eh, how was ah, your sí, day? Sí, sí. Yes, yes, hi. hi. Eh, in the world is fine. Okay. It's fine. All right, very well. I'm glad to hear that. Let's see, Josué Namun. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Uh, fine. Okay, excellent. How was your day? Yes, heavy. <laughs> oh, you had In a hard world. one? Why? What happened? Because. Uh -huh. Okay, so you had a, a busy day today. Busy today. Yes. All right. So I think that it's almost over. What do you say? It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it seems it's raining everywhere in the whole country. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Edilia Roxana, good evening. Evening. How are you, Edilia? I'm good. Okay, great. How was your day? Was good, teacher. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Maria Elena, good evening. Good evening. How's everything? How's everything, Maria Elena? How are you? Uh, I'm fine. It's fine? Okay, good. How was your day? It was great. Excellent. Ana Lisette, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, miss? I am very well. Okay, nice. And how was your day? Thank for God, everything is fine this day. Okay. okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. And how about you, Karen Stephanie? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? It was it was fine. 
Okay, we had a, a nice one. What did you do? I did my... I did... I did my homework in the other class. Okay, all right, nice. Katia Carolina, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine. Great. I go. What I go in the gym in work. Okay, cool. I'm glad to hear that you had a good day. All right, so I think we may start. So welcome everybody to our last class, class number 16. Today we're going to talk a little bit about quantifiers. So we're going to check um, the exercises we did yesterday and then we're talking about quantifiers and we're doing some prep. So let's see what we got. Um, okay, so things that are happening around you. So let's see, tell me, Maria Elena, what's happening around you? What's happening around you? Yes. Um, um, so there know. where you are, hey, where you are, what's happening? And it's raining. Okay, ah. it's raining. Maybe what else? <laughs> uh, so, for my, example, my what is your? Is so okay, your mom is sleeping. What else? Um. I don't know. Only that. Only that. Okay, fine. Thanks for sharing. Josue Naun, what's happening around you? Josue, what's happening around you? It's raining. It's raining? What else? Mm -hmm. And my mother is it it here in in your bed on her bed okay anything else uh -huh, in her bed and yeah okay thanks Annalise. What's happening around you? Um, my mom is watching TV okay. and my dad is watching the, her mom and my brothers are, are sleeping. Okay, excellent. Um, let me see Glenda Yamilet. Tell me about the things happening around you. Your microphone is off, Belinda. Sorry, now? Okay. Um, my husband is watching TV. Mm -hmm. And outside it's raining. It's raining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And me, I take in my English class. Okay, very well. That's on. Thank you. Jonathan, what's happening around you? Um, hi, Jonathan. Hi, hi. Sorry. Okay. Well, um, the rain has already come down. Okay. Um, I forgot to have dinner. Oh, wow. Okay. Because <laughs> I sleep. <laughs> All right. 
I take the last English class. You're taking the last English class. Okay. All right, excellent, Jonathan. Thanks for sharing. Okay, then we had this exercise where we had to make sentences in the three forms, right? Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. So the first one was, you are using your mobile phone now. Negative, um, you are using your mobile phone now. And the question, are you using your mobile phone now? How about number two, Norman? Uh, my, my dad, my dad was in his car at the moment. Okay. Negative? Negative. My, my dad, uh, my dad, no. He's not? Don't, it is, it is not, it's in, my dad, it is not washing his car at the moment. Okay, and the question? Uh, my dad. Is my dad. Uh, oh, yes. Is my dad washing his car at the moment? Okay, thank you. Walter Rene, number three. Okay, uh, my friends chatting right now mm -hmm. uh, negative negative my friend isn't chatting right now my friends aren't sharing oh perdón my friends aren't sharing right now okay and a question uh, are my friends chatting right now okay very good number four jose Jovito. Number four, yeah. I am working this week. Yeah, I, I, am not, I am not working this week. And the question? Am I working this week? Okay, excellent. Hey, Karen, is that number five? My family and I traveling this month. My family and I are traveling this month. Make it negative. Um, my family and I aren't traveling mm -hmm. this month. Okay, now the question. Are, no, they, no. Are. Are. <laughs> are. Mm -hmm. My family and I traveling this month. There you go. Very well. Karen Stephanie, number six. He is visiting his children today. Okay. He... Negative. He is visiting his children. Is he visiting his children? Okay, very today. good, Karen. Thank you. Number seven, Katia Carolina. She is eating um hamburger. Hamburger. She she isn't eating um uh, hamburger. Okay. And is, is she eating hamburger? Is she eating a hamburger? Okay, very well, Katia, thanks. Rosario Melendez, number eight. Use me, me? Yes, Rosario Melendez. Okay, okay. Uh, number eight, eight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, they having a meeting today. They, they are, are having a they meeting. They aren't mm -hmm. today. Okay. They aren't having a meeting today. Are they having a meeting today? Okay. Very well, Rosario. Next one. Uh, let me see, Josué. Uh, no. Number 
My grandparents are buying. Excuse me. My grandparents buying a new house. Okay, negative. And my grandparents aren't buying a new house. And the question? Uh, are my grandparents buying a new house? Okay, very good. And the last one, number 10, Jonathan. No la miro. La, la, oh, okay. La número 10. All right. So don't worry. Let uh, me ask. Tati, oh, Tati is writing a poem. Uh -huh. Negative? In negative form. Tati isn't, Tati isn't writing a poem. Okay. And the question? In the interrogative form. Uh -huh. uh, is Tati writing a poem? Okay, very well, Jonathan, thanks. All right, in the next exercise, we had to make questions you see in the present continuous, right? They were WH or yes, no question. So let's see, number one, what's the question? Me. What, uh, what time uh, are you going to the cinema? Very well, number two. Anybody? Why are you studying? Very well. Why are you studying? Number three. When are you leaving? When are you leaving? Number four. You are are you smoking? Are you smoking? Number five. Is he playing tennis later? Good. Six. You going shopping at the weekend. Okay. Number seven. Are you drinking wine? Are you drinking wine? Number eight. She working in the office. Is she working in the office at the moment. Okay, number nine. They're studying Portuguese. Are they studying Portuguese? Number 10. Uh, what time is she coming? What time is she coming, right? Number 10, coming. what time is she coming? Number 11. Where are you playing tennis tonight? Where are you playing tennis tonight? Oh. And number 12? She is living in London. Is she living in London? Remember, it's a question. Okay, repeat, please. Um, cinema. 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 Studying. Studying. Living. 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 Smoking. 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 Tennis. 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 Later. 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 Going shopping. Going, going shopping. shopping. Going shopping. Wine. 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 Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. And now. All right, so we had to make some questions using the expressions, right? So tell me a question you see now. Let's see. Eh, Jose Jovito, tell me a question you see now, please. It could be yes, no, or WH. Is she starting star English now? Okay, very well. Got in Stephanie, number two, right now. Is is your brother stay right now? 
Is your brother studying? Or what did you say? He's studying right now. Okay, thank you. Number three, and let me see, Katia Carolina, at the moment. And is she is that it at the moment? Okay, thanks. Number four, Josue Naun, today. Uh, what is you? Excuse me, can you repeat it, Mr. Josué? Okay, can somebody else make a question using today? How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Okay, fine. Now make another one using the present continue. Mm -hmm. She is working today. Is she working today? Okay, good. Make another one using tomorrow. Let's see, Glenda. Question using the present continuous, of course. Are you are you this this tomorrow? Or this tomorrow. Okay, fine. Thanks. Okay. And then we have this week. Let's see, Karen Stephanie. Um, where, where are we going this week? Where are we going this week? Excellent. Maria Elena, number seven this month. Maria Elena, I cannot hear you. Oh, yeah. Um, are you playing basketball tomorrow? Okay, very well, Maria Elena, thanks. All right, good. Now let's move on to our next topic, which is quantifiers. So let's a, go ahead and practice the conversation in 5.6. Let me go to the platform so we get it. Okay, let's listen to the conversation. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Milly and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Milly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? 
Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How? Um. Okay, very well. So um, now what we're going to do is to practice the conversation and there's something else I wanted to do, which is um, talk about your family. So you have to go to the breakout rooms now and do two things. The first one is practice the conversation. And the second one is that I need you to take 40 seconds to talk about your family. So how would that be? And we are going to work in small groups and then we need a timekeeper. Necesitamos alguien que tome el tiempo. Then uh, if, for example, Maria Elena's turn. So I set the time, 40 seconds for Maria Elena. And then she starts talking about her family. So she goes like, my family is really big. I have uh, nine brothers, two sisters, and a... Uh, each of them has a family. I have um, five nieces. I have three nephews and so on, right? So the challenge is that you keep talking for the 40 seconds, non-stopping, right? So you have to keep talking for 40 seconds. Talk about your family, just whatever thing that comes to your mind, you may say it. You keep talking, talking and talking until the timekeeper tells you to stop, okay? So that is the challenge. You talk for 40 seconds. Any questions before we get to the breakout rooms? No? Okay. All right, fine. I'm sending you to the breakouts right now. Okay, here we go. You've got some minutes to practice a conversation and talk about your family. la plataforma también ahorita para ver si logro si logro desde ahí hello I just sent the, the screenshots to the whatsapp group did you get them yes ok yes. fine good ok, okay. Uh, do you see the match no just for no Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, uh -huh. Okay. Who is starting or who begins the reading? Voy a ser Marco. Uh -huh. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Maybe. Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot uh, of a lot of families are smaller these days but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents next next um i am marcos mimi lady okay 
How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah. Most family in China have only one child. No way. I, I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller than these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, excellent, Karen. Very well. Just um, remember you say China. 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 Yep. China. There you go. Okay. Uh, what uh, is it pronounced nowadays or? Nowadays. Nowadays. Okay. Nowadays. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Um, so, the practice or the question and about your family? Question. Question. Okay. And Jose Jovito, uh, yes. are you married? Are you married? I don't marry. Uh, how many son or child you do you have? I don't have children for the moment. Okay. Um, Excuse me. Just that I um what I want you to do is to talk for 40 seconds. So that means you set the time, you get 40 seconds, and then you start talking about your family. Like my family uh, is very big. I have uh -huh. five uh, brothers, and uh -huh. then each of my brothers has a family. So my uh -huh. first brother has two kids, uh -huh. and the second one has, I mean, you uh -huh. just and, and this man and this mo and this moment uh, practice uh, the lesson. Mm, yeah. No. Yeah, you should talk in that way. Eh, lo que pretendo es que cada uno tome turnos, ¿verdad? Entonces mm -hmm. va a tener 40 segundos para hablar de su familia. Ah, Hay okay. Todo lo que usted quiera contar, pero la idea es, o el challenge es, uh -huh. que hablemos por los 40 segundos. Entonces, ah, sin, okay. sin parar, usted siga hablando todo lo que pueda, add more information, mm -hmm. and just continue talking until mm -hmm. time's up, hasta que se acabe el tiempo, right? Ah, los 40. Uy, ya, pues alguien que tome ahí cuando uh -huh. hablemos. Voy a, ¿Quién va a tomar el tiempo? Voy a tomar el tiempo acá. Vaya, y nosotros no sé cuánto hicimos, pero bueno, es como no, ¿Quién habla primero? Será uno por uno, ¿verdad? Cada quien habla de sí mismo. Así es. Pero no es así en conversación. No. No. Ah, es eh, como just, lo mismo. Es como yeah. una misma Okay. Vale, entonces, José Jovito. Ok. Número uno, eh, inicia ahorita. Uh -huh. Ok. Toma los 40 segundos. Ahorita iniciar. Dele. José okay. Jovito. Ok, ok. Aquí estoy. I'm here. Vamos a iniciar otra vez. Que inicia José Jovito, número uno, ahorita. Ok. Y Rosario... Uh, in your family, do you have boys? Um, no, but but the teacher, I I I understand that uh, you sell your the family, the, your family. Cada quien habla de su familia. Uh -huh. Intro, familia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. In my family, uh, there there are five brothers. And my father is alive, my mother is alive, we live together. I have pets. My favorite is a turtle. In my family, I like travel, travel for the mountain. Mm. 
My favorite food for the weekend Finish. is... Finish. Okay, okay. Okay, time's up. Yeah. Very well. Next. Jose now. Hi, my name is Jose. I have two brothers. Their name is... They are Maybelline and Ronnie. And their brother is um, October of the two and my 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 brother Ronnie is is a, a student and and my sister is is a student and their favorite food is uh, pizza and yeah. okay <laughs> Next. Uh, me. Okay. okay. My family is not is not uh, a big, but neither um, small. Um, I have the four four brother, and um, uh, my mother is. Uh, uh, is alive. My father is died, and I have many uh, aunt and many cousin and nephews. Uh, I like them. I uh, I, I like what tiempo. tiempo. Eh, número eh, ahora. Eh, my name is Walter. I'm married. And I have uh, two children. Uh, a girl and a, a boy. Eh, my favorite my favorite story is uh, soccer um, I study English at night and I work I am a counter yep. it's time thank you now me hey, Stephen Okay. Inicio, mm -hmm. dele. My name is Stephanie. I I am I'm married and I have a daughter. In my family, we are four children, and but my we are we are. In my family, we are have a, a maybe four or five children, but I have a yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So you all participate, right? Yeah. Yes, okay, let's come back yeah. to the main class then. Yeah. All right, see you there. Okay, we're coming back. It was very nice to see you practicing, to hear your um, your presentations about your families. And well, it was really nice that you could fulfill the 40 seconds and they were not even enough for you to, to talk about your family. So that was cool. And uh, well, now we're going to continue by talking about quantifiers. So let's see.
All right, so our lesson objective is in this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifiers and their meanings. So let's go to the platform and let's listen about the quantifiers. Everyone pay attention, please. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller Nobody these sense. days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, let's practice those sentences. Everybody repeat, please. All families have only one child. All families have only one child. Nine. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Nearly, Nearly all, all families, families have, have only one, 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 one child. child. Most families have only one child. Most, Most families, families have only one child. child. Many families are smaller these days. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. No, not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, one gets married before the, the age of 18. 18. Okay, let's continue listening. Age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you Okay, so that is what we have to take into account when making sentences using quantifiers. First of all, we use a plural noun right after the quantifier. We have nearly all women, most women, uh, some women, we could say. And then we get the verb. The verb would be in the, give me a second, please. Okay, so the verb would be in the 
plural form, right? In this case, work. And then uh, we add a sort of complement, right? So that would be nearly all women work nowadays. Most women work nowadays or some women work nowadays. We could change the quantifier according to the percentage we are talking about. So remember that we use quantifiers whenever we want to quantify, we want to kind of count something that cannot be expressed in numbers, right? Or in this case, we do not really have a percentage, like we could say 50% of women or something like that. In, so we go for a quantifier just to give an estimated quantity. Then we get the case of the Where use of no quantifier. one, which is a little different. It's slightly different because after no one, we are not going to add any nouns, but a verb, right? We have the quantifier, no one, then the verb, and the verb goes in the singular form. For example, here we say no one gets. No one gets married before the age of 18, right? So those are things you have to keep into account whenever you're seeing the quantifiers. Now let's review them. Oh, I wanted to take a look at Knowledge Check 5.9 so we get more examples and we keep on practicing. Let's see. Okay, so we have a to choose a corresponding sentence, right? We got number one in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Then a, we rephrase it as a lot of women, few women, or all women. What would you say? A lot. A lot I'm of women, women get married by the age of 22. Yes. Okay. All right, fine. Uh, would that be enough for the 50%? Like, would it be a lot, few, or all? What do you think? A lot. You would go for a lot. Okay, fine. Uh -huh. Then number two. In Australia, 87% of married or married couples have children. How would you rephrase it? Not many married couples, some married couples, or nearly all married couples. Nearly, nearly all married all. couples. Nearly all, right? We got an 87%. So that means that many, many of them got it right. And then we have Number three, in the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. So that will be few people, all people, or no one. No one. No one. No one, no one of course. No one votes before the age of 18, we would say. Number four, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. Some people, a few people, or most people. A few people. A, a few, few people. A few people, 35 percent. That represents a few. Mm -hmm. And number five, 78 percent of American high school students have jobs. Is that most American high school students, not many, not many American high school students, or all American high school students? Most. Most, most, American. American. most, American. most American high school students have jobs. So that is the way we use the quantifiers. As you see, we start the sentence with the quantifier, most, a few, many, and so on. Then we add the noun, the thing, or the people we're talking about, American high school students, people in Germany. We got a, well, this one is different, but here we have married couples and we also got women, right? Then after that, we get the verb. Like a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Nearly all of married couples have children and so on. And remember that no one is different because it doesn't need any nouns. It goes right before the, the verb. 
So we get, for example, no one votes. And remember, the verb goes in the singular form, in the third person form. No one votes before the age of 18. That's what we would say. Okay, having said this, we can go here and practice the quantifiers. So let's repeat them all. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly all. Nearly, nearly all. all. Most. 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 Many. 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 A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Some. 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 Not many. Not, Not many. 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 A few. A few. A few. 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 No one. No one. No one. No one. No. Teacher, oh. Hi. teacher, I have I I have a question. Oh. What's the what's different in a few with few? Okay, uh, well, they mean almost the same. Well, actually, they mean the same. However, we use them in, whenever we say a few, it mm -hmm. has a positive meaning, let's say. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when we use only few, we oh. would uh, say that it, it has a negative meaning. So it means like, um, I do not agree to that. I, I think that, that that few is a negative thing, kind of. I don't know if I, I explain it better. Mm -hmm. Like this one would be kind of positive, and this one is negative. Like, ah, okay, okay, thank yeah. you. Okay, all right. So let's try to make some examples using the quantifiers. Can we think of an example using all? Oh, all, all, all Salvadorian. El Salvadoran. Uh, it are, is, are, are work. All Salvadorians are hard workers. Are hard work. Uh -huh. Are hard workers. Very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I heard another one. Can you repeat it? All Salvadorians. Can we make another one? It proposes. It proposes. Okay, very well. Now let's make another one using nearly all. Um, almost all of you are vaccinated. Nearly all. Can you repeat it, please? Of you are vaccinated. And nearly all of us are vaccinated. Or, well, let me check that word, please. I can't remember if it's vaccinated or vaccinated. Okay, let me double check it. Yeah, it's vaccinated. There we go. Very well. Uh, maybe maybe uh, nearly all people of, of are facing it. Oh, yeah, I missed it. Nearly all of, goodness, what did I do? Okay, here. Uh, it was nearly all of us. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it feels like that. Thanks. Okay, next one, most. Can we make an example? Mm. Most, mm. like let's say most children, think about something that complements that. Um, most children. Is, is to studies uh, online. Most children study online. Okay, fine. And how about many? Many. Make, 
let's make an example. Many books are interesting. Okay, many books are interesting. A lot of. A lot of in a lot of cars in Salvador are important. A lot of girls in El Salvador are important. Are important. Okay, fine. Cars. No cars. 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 Oh, a lot of cars. cars are. Can you repeat it, please? Excuse me. It feels like <laughs> a lot of cars important. in El Salvador are important. important. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. okay. And then the next one. Some. Mm -hmm. Make another example using some. Uh, most okay. motorcycle is old. Some motorcycles is old. Are old. Uh, are old. Okay. Good. Not many. Make an example using not many. Not many people like the seafood. No, not many people like football or soccer. Okay, good. A few. Mm -hmm. I feel a few. Now go ahead. <laughs> okay. So a few, few what? A few, a few people speak English. A few people speak English. Very well. Now make another one using few. Few people play mm, off on Sunday. No. Few people. Repeat please. Few people. Day few people off on Sundays. Few people have a day off on Sunday. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Very well. And the last one. No one. We have an example using that. No one Salvadorian speak. Uh, French. Okay, so in that case, no one speaks Chinese. We would say uh, Chinese. Okay. No one speaks Chinese. Remember that what makes different uh -huh. the one from the yes, others yes, is yes. that it, it doesn't need any yes. nouns, right? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, very good. Any teacher, doubts about this? Tell me. Teacher, can we say some people and many people? Yes, we could say that. Both are okay. That's right. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Any other questions? No more? Okay. All right, that will be all for the course. So thanks everyone for participating and thanks for your, all your attention. It was really nice to be working with you and I hope you continue learning, keep going, keep practicing. And hope to see you soon. Take care, everybody. It was really nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you, Lily. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.